The accurate measurement of wind speeds is absolutely crucial for the wind industry. What Zephyr does is it, it's a, a wind lidar uh, that sits on the ground and measures the wind speed by emitting a laser beam out of the atmosphere and measuring a tiny fraction of the light that gets backscattered from dust particles in the air. It's being used very extensively in uh, the wind industry, in particular to assess the uh, potential of a possible wind farm site. It's being used to measure how windy the site is and see whether we'll bring sufficient return on the investment and deliver the energy that's, that is necessary. The laser beam gets scattered back by random particles in the atmosphere and generates a, a speckle pattern back at the receiver in, in much the way that you, you can see when you illuminate a white board with a laser pointer. We can measure the Doppler shift which is a measure of the uh, speed of those particles and use that to infer the wind speed at a whole range of heights. We've managed to develop Zephyr into a global brand. We sell more than 75% of our products overseas, from Africa to North and South America and Asia. For example, one area of potential growth is the mounting of LiDARs on the wind turbines themselves. By mounting a LiDAR on a turbine, you can get, a, if you like, a prior information of the wind uh, before it strikes the turbine. For example, if there's a, a large gust that could potentially damage the turbine, uh, then you could warn the turbine and it could feather its blades or pitch its blades. The offshore market is potentially very interesting because of the, the likely increase in this, in, the, in this activity in UK waters, for example. The wind resource is very good offshore, um, but it does bring problems. Traditionally, to, to actually assess the resource, the wind resource, and decide if it's a good site for a farm, you'd have to build a big platform sunk into the ocean, and this costs millions to tens of millions, depending on the water depth, and in fact becomes totally impractical in, in the deep water sites. So by using a remote sensor such as our Zephyr LiDAR instrument, um, and mounting it on a floating platform, it gives you the opportunity to measure that resource at far smaller costs than it would using the alternative traditional methodologies. The understanding of physics has been absolutely crucial to the development of Zephyr. It uses so many different aspects of physics and that's what makes it a really interesting project uh, for me to work on. I think we could characterise Zephyr as being on the leading edge of what's available. Uh, it uses components, component subsystems from the top producers from all over the world. Winning the Institute of Physics Innovation Award, I think it's a great accolade uh, for, for the company and for the team. Uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a feather in our cap. Uh, I think it's a, another endorsement of our ability to work in a very competitive environment. It's, it's very, um, very satisfying for one thing. I mean, we are all scientists and physicists at heart. So it's, it's just very nice to get that sort of level of recognition. It's extremely pleasing for me to see uh, the developments that started in a, in a lab with some Blue Skies research that went on to, to grow into a product that's now uh, shipped to customers all around the world.